We're here at Reclamation's Hydraulics Lab in Denver, Colorado, looking at the one to four and a half scale physical model of the Navajo Gallup pumping plant. We have modeled the entire sluicing channel that currently exists, including the divider walls that are inside that solution channel. We have it modeled from the downstream end of the first curve as it comes into that um, channel, all the way down through the return channel headed back down into the river. In the model, we have installed the proposed fish barrier weir which is this light green line that you can see through right here. We have the sluice gate that is proposed at the upstream end and the sluice gate that is proposed at the downstream end. We also have the proposed low pack gates, which are installed here and here, which will control the water surface going over that fish barrier wheel. As we move down into the pumping plant, we have the existing footprint of the pumping plant with the proposed three pumps that will be installed in the pumping plant. Each of those pumps are upsized from the existing pumps to meet the desired 71 CFS flow rate. As we move over into the return channel, we have the proposed divider walls to maintain the adequate depths in the return channel for the fish passage in the downstream direction. We have a downstream control weir which allows us to set our tailwater elevations in the model. As we set those tailwater elevations in the model, representative of the operating conditions, we are measuring that with a downlooker that's located in this location. We have additional water level sensors in the physical model that give us the upstream and downstream water surface elevations of the fish weir at the downstream end at the mid-span and at the upstream end. We're also monitoring the water surface elevation in the sump so that we can make sure that we hit our target sump water surface elevations in the model. We're looking at the upstream end of the settling channel. We have a rock baffle with, which distributes our flow coming into the settling channel. We have the low divider walls and the existing geometry. We're measuring water with this level sensor here to get us our depth in the upstream channel. As we turn around to the left, you can see the sluice gate that allows sluicing of the downstream side of the fish barrier weir. Water enters the sluicing or enters the settling channel, goes around this wall and then starts to spill over the fish barrier weir. We're measuring water on the Stilling channel side and the pumping bay side of the fish barrier weir so that we can determine the drop across the weir. As we come down, we can see that the flow is nice and uniform going through the stilling channel. As it dumps over that sidewall, we get some recirculation, which is really difficult to see in the videos. We're measuring a second set of water levels on the stilling channel side and the pumping plant side of the fish barrier weir at mid-span across the weir. As we go closer to the downstream end of the fish barrier weir, we can see the entrance into our pumping plant sump. And we got those two entrance bays. We've got another pair of level sensors, which is monitoring the water level across the fish barrier weir. And then we have our low pack gates, our left and our right low pack gates. This is a zoomed in view of the entrance to the sump for the pumping plant. You have the left bay and the right bay. As the water accelerates to go through this entrance, it straightens itself slightly and it enters into the pumping plant where we have our left pump, our center pump and our right pump and all three of those pumps are pumping at uniform pump speeds. One of the primary purposes of the physical model is to do flow visualization to check that our target water surface elevation in the pumping plant sump and the discharge that each of the pumps is going to operate under does not create adverse hydraulic conditions. 
things that we're looking at specifically are we're looking for surface vortex or floor vortexes that operate that could affect the pumping performance of the plant. Here we're adding dye in, and this is just a sample so that you can see some of the flow visualization techniques that we're gonna use. As we look at this dye coming through, you can see flow is coming into both the lower and the upper pumping bell. And we're able to identify when vortices occur in the discharge. Close out this video. I'm just going to give you a brief overview of what our planned testing matrix is looking like. We're looking at testing three different river discharges, which will change the velocity in this region of the model on the stilling channel side of the fish barrier weir. A constant 71 CFS will be looked at coming over the fish barrier weir and setting up the discharge into our pumping plant. As we get over to the pumping plant, we will be looking at different pump operations, including individual pump operation, paired pump operation, and all three pumps operating at the same time. As we go through that test matrix, we will be recording video and picture imagery of all of the situations that we are seeing. We will also use tracer dies, and flow visualization beads to capture the hydraulics in that channel. We will be measuring velocities and water surface elevations as we run through the testing matrix.